Once your Moodle course has been created, it's time to enroll your students. One of the easiest ways is to use the self-enrollment method, in which case students will enter a one-time enrollment key to add themselves to your course. To access this enrollment method, go to your administration box and click the arrow next to Users, and then click on Enrollment Methods. Check to see that self-enrollment is listed in your enrollment method list and that it has an edit icon next to it. If it does not have the edit icon, it means that method is currently disabled, in which case simply click on the eye icon next to the enrollment method. If self-enrollment is not listed at all, go to the Add Method drop-down box and select Self-Enrollment. If this option is not available, it means that your site administrator has disabled this enrollment method and it is not available for you to use. Once you have self-enrollment listed and enabled, click the edit icon. Begin by setting an enrollment key for your course. This is essentially a one-time password that your students will enter when first accessing your course. To see what you are typing, check the unmask box. Note that the enrollment key is case sensitive. If you will be enrolling students by class period or section, you'll also want to change Use Group Enrollment Keys to Yes. If you use this setting, you will have to set an enrollment key for each group, but you will still need a course enrollment key. You can choose to have student accounts automatically unenrolled at the end of the course by setting the number of days in the enrollment duration. You can also choose to unenroll inactive users after a specific number of days. This is a good option for courses that are always available and are self-paced. Additionally, you can limit the number of users who can enroll in your course and send them a welcome message. This will be sent to the email listed in their profile. When you are finished, click Save Changes. And that's it! Your students may now enroll in your course by entering the enrollment key you created.